Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we got a system of equations m square minus n square equals to 9, m times n equals to 3. And now our task is to find the value of uh, m plus n. And this is our Olympiad math problem. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I'm going to label this very first equation as our equation number one and this second one as our equation uh, number two and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation one and here i have copied down this uh, equation one and now i'm going to take a square on uh, both uh, sides uh, of this uh, equation and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus two times a b and we are going to apply this identity on the left hand side uh, binomial and if i call this one uh, as our lowercase a and this is our uh, lowercase b then uh, we can write uh, m square and then power 2 is going to become uh, m power 4 plus likewise uh, n square and then power 2 is going to make uh, n power 4 minus uh, 2 times uh, m square times uh, n square is going to be equal to 81 on the right hand side and now we are going to tweak uh, this part m square times n square this could be written as uh, m times n whole uh, square and now let's focus on equation 2 we can see m times n value is uh, 3 so therefore i'm going to substitute this uh, m times n value 3 over here so therefore we can write uh, m power 4 plus n power 4 minus 2 times uh, our m times n value is 3 square equals to 81 and now we can see 3 square equals to 9 and 9 times 2 is going to be equal to 18 so therefore we can write uh, m power 4 plus n power 4 and this whole thing uh, is uh, 18 equals to 81 and now we are going to add 18 on both sides this is gone so therefore our uh, m power 4 plus uh, n power 4 value turns out to be equal to 99 i'm going to label this one as our equation number three and now let's recall another famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2 times uh, a b and now i'm going to isolate this part uh, a square plus b square by moving this uh, 2 times a b on the other side so therefore we can write this one as uh, a square plus b square is going to be equal to a plus b whole square minus uh, 2 times uh, a b and now let's assume that uh, a equal to m square and uh, lowercase b equals to n square and now we are going to substitute all these uh, values so let's go ahead and replace that one so a for a i'm going to put down uh, m square so this is going to become uh, m square and then square plus likewise uh, b is uh, n square so i'm going to write down n square whole square is going to be equal to likewise i can write uh, on the right hand side uh, m square uh, plus uh, n square and then power 2 and then minus uh, 2 times uh, we can write this one as uh, m times n whole uh, square and now let's focus on this equation 3 m power 4 plus n power 4 is uh, 99 so i'm going to substitute that value on the left hand side as 99 and now let's focus on this uh, equation 2 m times n value is uh, 3 i'm going to substitute that uh, 3 value over here so therefore we can write uh, 99 on the left hand side equals to m square plus uh, n square and then power 2 minus uh, 2 times our mn value is uh, 3 
whole uh, square and now we can see 3 square is uh, 9 and 9 times 2 is going to give us uh, 18 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this whole thing uh, with 18 over here and in this uh, next step I'm going to add 18 on both sides we can see this uh, negative and positive 18 they are uh, gone and on the left hand side if we add these one that is going to give us uh, 117 so therefore we can write this one as uh, m square plus uh, n square whole square is going to be equal to 117 and now i am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and now let's focus on this uh, square root of 117 and here i have copied down uh, square root of 117 and now we can see 117 could be broken down into 9 times uh, 13 so therefore uh, we can write this one as square root of 9 times square root of uh, 13 and we know square root of 9 is simply 3 times uh, square root of uh, 13 so therefore uh, this equation once we take the square root uh, the left hand side is going to become uh, m square uh, plus uh, n square is going to be equal to positive or uh, negative uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 13 and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 4 and now let's recall this identity once again a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2 times a b and if I replace this uh, a with uh, m and b with uh, n then this equation could be written as uh, m plus uh, n whole square is going to be equal to m square plus uh, n square plus uh, 2 times uh, m n and now let's focus on this equation for m square plus n square value is positive or negative 3 times square root of 13 so i'm going to replace that one with the positive or negative 3 times square root of 13 over here and likewise uh, if we focus on equation 2 m times n value is 3 so i'm going to substitute that value 3 over here so therefore let's go ahead and substitute so we got uh, m plus n whole square is going to be equal to positive or negative 3 times uh, square root of 13 plus uh, 2 times uh, 3 and now we can see 2 times 3 is 6 so therefore we can write this one as uh, m plus n whole square is going to be equal to i'm going to write down this uh, six uh, first and then i'm going to write down positive or negative this whole thing uh, three times uh, square root of 13 it doesn't make any difference whatsoever and now let's focus on these two signs positive and negative we are going to separate them as you can see in this uh, next step one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign in between and now let's make an observation we can see m plus n whole square is always going to be equal to greater than or equal to zero and likewise this one m plus n whole square is going to be greater than or equal to zero as well and now let's focus on the right hand side this whole thing is a positive value whereas on this side uh, on the right hand side uh, we can see 6 minus 3 times square root of 13 that is going to give us a value that is going to be a negative uh, value which means uh, less than 0 so therefore we can see this is a false statement that is not possible so therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, scenario and we are going to accept uh, this uh, scenario so thus our m plus n whole square value turns out to be 6 plus uh, 3 times square root of 13 and now we are going to take the square root uh, on both uh, sides to undo this uh, square and here we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore uh, our m plus n value turns out to be equal to positive or negative square root of uh, 
6 plus 3 times square root of 13 and that's what we were looking for the value of m plus n so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our m plus n value turns out to be positive or negative square root of 6 plus 3 times square root of 13 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye